In this video, I'll be sharing how to install a new, completely free FSR3 frame generation mod for the Steam Deck in SteamOS Gaming Mode that allows us to enjoy improved visuals and double hour frame rate in many games across our Steam library. And I'll be guiding us step by step on how to install the mod as quickly as possible, as well as demonstrating multiple games and the performance we can hope to achieve. And before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. From desktop mode, we need to access our web browser and come over to Decky Loader's main website linked in the description. Here we want to select download in the top right and download this file to our downloads folder. Afterwards we want to access the Decky Frame Gen GitHub page. Here we want to scroll down, select releases and we want to download the latest version that appears. We're going to select Assets, and we're going to download DeckyFrameGen.zip. Once both of those files are in your Downloads folder, we want to select DeckyInstaller.desktop, select Execute, and here we'll be prompted for our sudo password, which, if you haven't set this before, simply go to your System Settings on the taskbar, select Users, and here we can choose Change Password. We can press X, and here, I'm going to type deck and enter, press X again and type deck. Once your password is set, let's close this window and return to our password prompt where we want to press X and type our password that we've just set. Press enter and close the keyboard and here we want to choose release for our stable SteamOS. Press OK and wait for the installation of Decky to finish. Once the installation is complete, we want to select OK, return to our downloads folder, and we want to double click on DeckyFrameGen.zip. We want to drag the file to our downloads folder, close the zip file, and here we want to go to Home. And in here we'll see a folder called Homebrew that we want to right click and select Properties, go to our Permissions tab, and we want to make sure the owner is on can view and modify content and do the same for group and others. And at the bottom we want to make sure that we check apply changes to all subfolders and their contents. Select this and choose OK. If you already have plugins installed from Decky, simply go ahead and select skip all. Once your permissions are set, go inside the homebrew folder and then go inside the plugins folder. Let's go back to our downloads folder and our Decky Frame Gen folder. We want to right click and cut, go to our plugins folder, and we want to right click and paste. So now you should have the Decky Frame Gen plugin inside your home, homebrew, and plugins folder, like so. Once that's complete, return to desktop and then return to gaming mode. Now once we're in gaming mode, we want to press the quick access menu button and go down to the new Decky icon that's appeared. Here we'll see Decky Frame Gen that we've just manually installed. Go inside here and we'll see the option to install FG Mod. We want to go down and select and press on this once. Now the Decky Frame Gen mod will be installed to your Steam Deck. And once installed, you'll see a notification saying that the mod is installed. Now this mod will only support games that have DirectX 12 and include DLSS. So we need to go down and find games that have these. In my instance, Black Myth Wukong will work, so I'm going to select this and I'll get a confirmation message saying that the launch options were set successfully. And I'm going to go down to Final Fantasy 16. Select this, and when I go to these games in my Steam library, and go to the cog symbol for Final Fantasy 16, down to properties, and in our launch options we will now see the following launch command, pointing to the mod files that have been installed on the Steam Deck. And we'll see the launch command is also included in Black Myth Wukong. Now once we're in game and we go to our graphics settings, we can see that I've got FSR set and frame generation turned on. But when we go back to game 
the frame generation just isn't working at all and we remain on 30 FPS. So let's go back to our settings and because of the mod, when we go down to graphics and on FSR, we can now change to DLSS, which is actually FSR 3.1 injected via the mod. With frame generation turned on, press apply, go back to the game, and we can see that we're now hitting over 60 FPS in this area. And in some cases we can hit 80, 70 if we look around in some areas. And the input lag isn't that bad at all pretty responsive. Now in Final Fantasy 16 you can see I'm getting about 30 FPS in this area here. So let's go to our settings and go over to our graphics tab and let's change from XESS to DLSS 3 which is actually FSR 3.1. And if we change our upscaling to performance and turn on DLSS frame generation which is actually FSR 3.1 frame generation. So let's back out of here and in game you can see that our FPS has gone up to about 60 but we are getting a lot of ghosting on the black bars at the top and bottom of the screen and a lot of ghosting around the character model. But this is fine as I have another guide listed in the description that installs another mod to fix this. So to recap, once we're in gaming mode we want to press the quick access menu button Go down to our Decky icon, choose Decky Frame Gen, install our FG mod for the first time, and once installed, we can go down to our game like Hogwarts Legacy, choose this for our launch option to be set, and provided that the Decky Frame Gen mod is successfully installed, we can go back, go to our game, select the cog symbol, properties, and go down to our launch option, which should be set like so. Go back and launch the game. And in our Hogwarts settings we can see I'm using FSR2 and FSR2 balanced and frame generation is greyed out. And when we go back to the game we'll see that in the open world our performance ranges from about 40 to 50 FPS currently with everything on low. So let's go to our settings again. Go down and on our upscale type, we can now select DLSS, which is FSR 3.1. We'll change this to balanced, and frame generation is now available. So we can toggle this on, press back and return to game. And our FPS in Hogwarts is now about 70 FPS in the open world. And our input lag in game isn't too bad to be honest. And Everyone's sensitivities are going to be different. If you're used to playing on 120 FPS or 300 FPS, then coming to the Steam Deck and trying this out might feel a bit different. But overall, I think it's a nice boost for the Steam Deck, and this mod is something that everyone can take advantage of following the steps provided. Now let's say we want to uninstall the mod. Let's go into our properties for our game, go down to our launch option, and we want to erase our launch option completely. And once complete, let's go back, press the Steam button and return to desktop mode. And in desktop mode, go to Steam, find the game, go on the cog symbol, select manage and browse local files to be taken to the main installation directory for the game. In Hogwarts Legacy's instance, we want to go inside Phoenix, binaries, Win64 and all of these files in here, we want to drag, right click and delete. Return to Steam, click on the cog symbol for Hogwarts, properties, go on installed files and select verify integrity of game files and this is going to scan all of the files and then it's going to repopulate the files required from fresh. And Once those files have been reacquired let's go back to our folder for Win64 and we can see that the original files are now back as intended. For other games there may be a lot more files than this, so this right now is the easiest method and the creator of the mod is working on a way so that we can select Inside Decky to uninstall the mod conveniently. Before we end the video I want to give a massive shout out and thank you to the creator of the Decky Frame Gen mod, 
Jason Derulo for their excellent communication and accepting my feedback following testing of the mod's continued development. When there are new updates to share, please stay tuned to the channel, as I'll be covering these in depth as and when they arrive, alongside testing more games that support the mod so we can leverage more performance on the Steam Deck. So if you enjoyed this guide and learned something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.